Doug. Thank you for joining us as we follow the moon. Today I want to show you two new accessories that we're adding to our RV arsenal to help make our trip safer on the road as well as at the campsite. The two things that we're doing, first of all, is changing out our 50 amp surge protector. And we're adding another product called RV Whisper. More on this in just a moment. First, on the surge protector. We've used a surge guard ever since we've been full time on the road, so for about a year and a half. We've had a lot of lightning the last few weeks in Florida, and we had a lightning strike fairly close to the RV. Didn't appear to cause any damage, but I did notice a few days later that the surge protection light was no longer lit up on our surge guard. So at that point, I contacted the company. I contacted them by phone and by email, and over a two and a half week period, never got a response from surge guard. After two and a half weeks, I did finally get an email back saying, yes, it's probably taken a hit, throw it away, buy a new one. That was it. It took me two and a half weeks to get that from the company. So because of the customer service, I was pretty well convinced I wasn't going back to surge guard. Now we do have a surge guard whole house protector that came in our Tiffin Allegro Red. But if that gets damaged, you can be completely down and without power. So we still recommend having a separate surge protector at the pole because that way it would get taken out and your RV will still be working. So instead of going back to surge guard, we went with this unit. It's called the Power Watchdog. And there's two different versions of the Power Watchdog out. The regular one and the EPO. And the EPO is designed to instantaneously shut off the power to your RV if there's ever an issue with low voltage, high voltage, anything like that. The other thing that I really liked about it, it does have an app that you install on your smartphone. And if you're not at your coach, you can see what's going on uh, with the, uh, the voltage and make sure everything is okay. The thing I like the best about it, the surge protection is a removable module. So even though this is a more expensive unit than the surge guard we had, if it gets struck, all you do is call the 800 number and they send you out a new module to install in your surge protector so you're not out the 130 to 150 dollars that you are for the surge guard and just throw it away you can continue to use this now to give you an idea when you receive this this is what you see This is what you get. Now we're going to go out and hook this up for the first time, but first I want to show you one thing that I always thought was a poor design on our current surge guard. And that is, if you look at the front of it, there are three little LEDs at the top to let you know that it's functioning correctly, and then you'll see two more at the bottom. Our surge protection one is no longer lit up, but you have to get right on top of that if there's any daylight at all to see if there's uh, if everything is okay with it. If they're lit up yellow or lit up green or lit up red. So with this, the watchdog is going to light up in white if everything's okay. He's going to light up in red if there's a problem. If there is a uh, bad neutral the red LED down here will light up and this display over here will give you a code now if you're doing it from the app it'll outright tell you what the issue is if you're doing it just by looking at the box the codes are listed in the owner's materials that come with it so let's go outside get it hooked up 
and then we'll share with you a little bit more about RV Whisper and how this all works together. So as always, plug in your surge protector to the pole with the breakers off, turn the breakers on, and have it checked to make sure that the power is good before you plug in your RV. In this case, the big watchdog face lights up in white, so we can go ahead and turn the power off and plug in the RV. Now the unit will work just fine like that, but you can also take it one step further and use the app. The app is a uh, wireless Bluetooth connection, and to use that, you just simply scan the QR code that's shown on the front of the uh, watchdog box. It also is on the owner's material, so if anything is damaged on the unit outside, you'll be able to do it off of that. That links that to the app, and you have a full readout, just like this, to show everything that is going on with the power supply in your coach. And again, if there's a problem, it's going to shut everything off. Now we also have an auto gen start built into our magnum inverter in our coach that came that way from Tiffin. And that's set that if it gets to be above a certain temperature or the batteries get to be below a certain voltage, it'll kick the generator on and keep things cool. Especially if you're traveling with pets, Ours doesn't stay here by herself very often, but it's a good safeguard now. But we decided we wanted to take it one step further. And that's where this comes in, RV Whisper. Now RV Whisper, we actually purchased this system and the Power Watchdog all directly from them. Their system is designed to work with Power Watchdog. And all it is, is this little box and we have it plugged in up front right next to our um, uh, Wi-Fi Ranger. And uh, we also have our uh, cellular modem in there. So it's connected all the time. So no matter where we go, we'll be able to get the status. Uh, we also have sensors throughout the coach now. This one is in the front of the coach to measure the temperature and the humidity of the inside of the coach. Another one in the rear of the coach. Since there's three air conditioners, that'll give us a good idea as far as how stable the temperature and humidity is throughout the coach. We also have temperature sensors in the refrigerator, in the freezer, in our separate storage freezer down in the, the uh, basement. We have an outdoor temperature sensor, and we also have uh, a sensor in the wet bay. Those are designed for if it gets near freezing, it's going to let us know. We also have sensors on our entry door and on the sliding window at the driver's side door. But the beauty of this system is by just simply going to the app, and hitting gateway login, which it's set to log into our gateway, it will give us a diagram of the motorhome and it will give us the temperature readings of all the temperature sensors to let us know that the door is closed, the window is closed, the outside temperature where the RV is at, and the information that the power watchdog is sending over to it. So now on one app, we have a total idea of what's going on with our coach whenever we're not here. With power, with safety, with security, to make sure that the refrigerator is good, to make sure the freezers are good. It's a lot of peace of mind. So we wanted to share this with you. We just have gotten the system hooked up. We'll follow up later on and let you know how everything's working out down the road. But for now, thank you for joining us today. I hope this has been educational. RV Whisper is available through their website. We are not affiliated with them. We don't make anything if you purchase from them other than a, that warm fuzzy feeling from knowing maybe we helped out a fellow RVer. But uh, check them out at rvwhisper.com. And for now, again, my name's Doug. Thank you for following us as we follow the moon. 
Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Ring the notification bell so you'll be uh, alerted when there's new videos. And give us a thumbs up if the material today was helpful. Thanks very much. We look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.